Lesotho Highland Water Project is one of Africa's largest water transfer schemes and most ambitious engineering endeavors. Its primary purpose is to harness the water resources of Lesotho Mountain to benefit both the Kingdom of Lesotho and neighboring South Africa. This month, the first tunneling boring machine, Dayuf Chang Feng, specifically developed by a Chinese company for the Polyhali Transfer Tunnel Project, was officially put to use in the project. Lesotho Polyhali Transfer Tunnel Project is regarded by Lesotho as a project related to the national economy and people's livelihood. This project is a commercial project won by the Chinese enterprises through commercial bidding. It fully embodies China's policy concept towards Africa, that is, the concept of sincerity, real results, affinity, and good faith. Since the project started in 2022, it has provided over 1,500 job opportunities locally, spurred the development of surrounding industries, and significantly improved the living conditions of nearby villagers. After the full commissioning of the project, it will bring more economic benefits to both countries, cultivate a large number of skilled workers and engineers, thus providing valuable opportunities for long-term development. Through a series of dams, tunnels, and hydropower facilities, the project diverts water from the highlands of Lesotho to Hauteng province in South Africa, while simultaneously generating hydroelectric power for Lesotho. China is very important to, to us and to our country because a lot of people have got works. Uh, some people, they have come here, they were uh, unskilled people. But as for now, they have many experience. I can make an example about me. I've arrived here, I was a general worker. From the general worker, I became the pickup driver. From the pickup driver, I became the foreman. As for now, I'm the labor camp uh, master. And then I, I do believe uh, as the TBM is going to start, many people, they are going to get experience. So that will help them to, to, to get work through the future. Today marks a, a big milestone in terms of the progress of the project. It, it, it's actually meant to develop uh, the region, develop the aspirations of the people in terms of portable water, trying to meet SDG 6, uh, in terms of hydro generation, in terms of tourism, in terms of uh, agriculture, and in terms of fisheries. And these companies are some of the biggest Chinese state-owned companies that are helping us build uh, this infrastructure. And I think the reason they win some of these contracts is that they, are, they have the financial muscle, they have the technical expertise uh, to actually get the, the work done. The project is jointly implemented by Chinese enterprises and local South African enterprises, integrating diverse cultures and management concepts, fully demonstrating the depth and breadth of China-Africa cooperation under the Belt and Road Initiative. Muturi Kaibere, CGTN.